Community members are reacting to the governor's changes to the mask mandate. Some are relieved to know they can now be maskless outside, while others remain cautious. Max Rodriguez follows up. This is the announcement many were waiting for, but some say they will hold on to their mask a little longer. It's going to be a little easier for Raj George to breathe during his jogs. It's getting challenging, especially as the weather gets warmer and a bit more humid without the trade wind. So it's an extra level of a workout that, uh, you know, I had to stop a couple times because it's just hard to breathe with a mask on. With the governor's order, people can remove their face coverings outdoors. George was technically able to jog without his mask already, but says he wore it out of respect for others. He says now he feels comfortable going without it. I would, as long as the every as long as the community knows that the that masks are, uh, you're able to take off masks outdoors, and I'd feel comfortable taking it off. The latest emergency order also brings relief to security staff at the Royal Hawaiian Center. They have faced backlash from some shoppers refusing to wear a mask in the center's outdoor areas ever since the CDC updated its mask guidance last week. Masks may come off in the outdoor sections of the shopping center, but have one ready to wear in the stores and also when in the elevator and parking structure. I think security is more excited about it than customers are going to be. Because, you know, you don't want to be the bad guy. Although Hart Sugbo says not so fast, she's hanging on to her mask a little longer. She's still concerned about spreading the virus to her parents. No, I'm not going to take off my mask. I'm okay. Unless if it's like fully eliminated, then I'm going to take it off. I'm not taking any chances anymore. Masks are also still recommended outdoors in large groups. I mean, you're outside. It's fine. If there's like 100 people or 40 people in a tight group outside, that's bad. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.